just got home from work. Well, I take that back. I had to run some errands. That's why I got little mama here. But I ran my errands and now I am back home from work. So now I'm about to go work out. But first, I need to wash up all this makeup off my face. If y'all can see, I have a lot of makeup on. Well, not a lot of makeup on, but I have some makeup on that I need to take off because... I don't like to work out with makeup on. I don't like the mixture of sweat and makeup and burns my eyes. So I just take it all off. So like I said, I just have a small amount of makeup on. Just some BB cream. Just did my brows. A little eyeshadow and just some mascara and that's it. But I'm about to get ready to wash all this off. So I'm going to take you guys with me to show you how I remove my makeup. And also a new tool that I've been using to help me take my makeup off. So stay tuned. Hey guys, I'm just cutting in a video to talk to you about my new facial brush. This is the new Sun and Cleansing Brush by Lavany. I hope I'm saying that right, but if not, um, please correct me in the comments below. But this is how the brush looks. This is how the front of the brush look, and then this is how the back look and the side. In the package, it came with the facial brush and also came with an extra brush head, a little package that you could put this in to travel with, and also the user manual, which looks like this. As you can see, it could come with two brush heads. This one here is for the normal skin, and then this one here is for sensitive skin, so you can kind of see the difference in the brushes and let me just give you guys a quick demo of the brush so this is how it looks again and this is the on and on switch and this is um the speed and also the different levels that you can take your brush so when it's on this is how it looks like as you can see it's pulsing really really fast so that's how it looks like and also with the on on switch that has a light to let you know it's on and also a light at the bottom to let you know the level. Also, let me just give you a demo of the different levels that it can go. So let me cut it on. So that's the first. The second. The third, which is really light. And then the fourth, it makes a kind of almost, not spinning, but more at like a half type spin, more pulsing type. This is like my favorite one I like using because it just feels real good on my skin. So I always like using the fourth one. As you can hear from the beat, it lets you know when it's time to switch over to a different side of your face. I believe each section is 30 seconds. It might be 20, but you get a full minute to wash your face using this and see it beeps whenever it's ready to go off. So overall, I like it. And guys, I just want to give you a quick comparison with the Lavany facial brush with the Claret Sonic. And no, this is not dirty. I use some the one of the soaps to kind of change the colors of this. I don't want y'all to think like, ooh, uh-uh. But I swear to y'all, it's not dirty. But this is how it looks side by side. As you can see, this one's a little bit longer than the Clarisonic one. And also, if you can kind of look a little bit closer, the Clarisonic brush is just a tad bit bigger than this one. Um, when I lay it to the side, it looks like the Lavany brush may be a little bit longer. So give or take, I guess it just depends on your knees and how you like the brush. That's just a kind of quick comparison. And also I have the original Clarisonic Mia. So this is the only one I can compare it to. I think this is more comparable maybe to the 
Clarissa and me a two or three. I think this one's more on that style than this one because this one definitely has more options than this one. But like I said, I have the original of this, so that's a big difference. But overall, I do like these two. Um, I think you can't go wrong if you get either one, so I like it. One last thing I just want to show you guys that this does come with a rechargeable dock, which looks like this, so you don't ever have to buy any batteries for it. And when you just put it on there, you just do it like this. And it makes that little noise and let you know that it's charging. And it's also a red little dot right here, the red light that blinks to let you know it's charging. Whenever this is done, it just stays red so it'll let you know it's good to go. And it doesn't take a long time to charge because usually I put it on the night before whenever it does go dead. And then the next morning it's ready to go.